Okay, here we go. Part two of the TWH Seagrave TDA tractor drawn aerial unit. Uh, hopefully, this won't take another 10 minutes, but if it does, I want to be thorough. And so, we will start off again with the front of the model, the tractor unit. Uh, basically, the exact same as the other side, but I want my review to be as thorough as possible. There are some differences. There is no mesh uh, above the wheel on the right side or the passenger side. Uh, the mirror is supplied again. See the front of the model. Very nice. Very nicely made. See there is a scene light there. Nice light bar up top there. Fans. Air, uh, above you see the antennas uh, extendable scene light on this side with a toolbox up here more toolboxes storage uh, some mesh in the center there it's kind of hard to see here's the turntable those are metal handrails with a chain there in the center the chain does not come off unless you want to break it here are the hydraulics the ladder again ladder 2 more scene lights another electrical reel here's the outrigger on this side with the outrigger pad that is supplied it does actually hold the trailer portion of this unit up off the ground somewhat whenever it is fully extended so that's kind of interesting uh, the outrigger is plastic so I would definitely not suggest doing that for very long because I have a feeling that it probably will break here again the wheels very nice mud flaps the authentic tread detail the exhaust which is really cool on this model I will flip this over very carefully before we're done here to show you the underside that would be where the wheel chocks go um, obviously they won't fit in there uh, so that's basically worthless right there the exhaust is hollowed out you can see there it makes it look very realistic handrails which they did a very nice job on that right there is the pole for the scene light very realistic handrails there and there with the door mirrors these mirrors did not fit well at all and they continued to fall out so what I did and what I would suggest doing if you get one of these and have this problem is to take either the top or the bottom of the mirror that sticks into the model itself and bend it just very slightly and very carefully so that you have to put a little bit of pressure on it getting it into the cab and that will help it hold you do not want to glue these mirrors in because obviously if it has to go back in the box there is not room in the box for the mirrors and they will get destroyed and TWH announced recently that they will no longer be carrying replacement parts for their current models I did a Mike's Models News at Noon covering that the day of uh, that's a little disappointing really help them stand out above many other model manufacturers that's their business their decision I don't agree with it but you know they don't want my they didn't ask my opinion uh, they say that you can get replacement parts through dealers I've spoken to a few dealers and they say we absolutely do not have replacement parts so the, obviously that could be a problem back over to the trailer unit you can see the lights they've simulated a turn signal light there a light directed dir right at the outrigger a second light back here in front of the wheel again another wheel those chrome things right there are usually air tank storage extra air tanks for firefighters breathing air um, more scene lights back here uh, the end of the ladder has lights uh, simulated lights on it again none of these compartments open 
more diamond plate you can see another ladder that cab for the tiller is very detailed there's a seat in there steering wheel as you can see just to me with the other figures that I have one 50th scale figures uh, the tiller cab seems to be incredibly small so take that for what it's worth here on the back again these compartments and cabinets do not open we have a traffic signal deflector there more lights light there light there lights to light up the scene again ladder two there's the back of the tiller cab the directional traffic signal that's basically the back again nothing opens come back around up here more lights handrails mirrors mirrors did not <clears throat> the mirrors did not fit well here as well I had to do the same thing that I just previously said there's a windshield wiper there in the center you can see so uh, overall it is a very nice model you definitely can't take that away from it it is a very expensive model again um, I am I like fire stuff um, I am not truthfully a fire truck collector at least not at this point um, so I do find a little bit of trouble paying $330 plus shipping for a piece like this it's it is a very nice piece there's no question about it okay um, don't forget if you go to flip your truck over make sure to take the mirrors off again because you only get one set go ahead and flip it on its side You can see the tire detail, very nice, realistic. You can see the exhaust detail is very nice, very realistic again. I give them very high marks on details of the undercarriage because they really nailed it, without a doubt. Excellent looking undercarriage. Um, there is storage right here for the plates mine is a very tight fit so I would suggest not doing that to be perfectly 100% honest with my viewers this is the first time I have done that and now I have to force it back out so without breaking it it is very hard to do and without destroying the string I do not recommend doing that I've never seen a tiller flipped over before. I would imagine this is pretty pretty accurate that there is not much on the underside. Here you can see the steering mechanism for the trailer. Different tanks, lines, lights. Very realistic. Little suspension there again there is a big suspension there I'm gonna go ahead and flip it back over because there's not much else to talk about overall this is definitely a very nice piece as I've said I like having it in my collection uh, at some point it will probably get repainted because I have no use for a truck that just says ladder 2 and there are no other trucks to my knowledge that have this exact same paint scheme Uh, the ladder, just in case anybody is wondering, it is an off-white. It may be TWH's white, um, but it is not your typical white, that's for sure. I will show one last detail, and we are almost out of time. If you swing the ladder around, you can get the ladder to extend down to ground level which is what they promote here's the end of the review thanks for watching